Uh, come on now. I mean, Jesus Christ. I mean, it's like a couple days left and a few days left and, and this has got to happen. Running back Corey Clement ended up... Uh, Jesus, I mean, we can't get a break. We literally can't get a break. Corey Clement gets a quad injury today at practice. Third running back in the rotation, obviously. So I don't know what they were going to do. Were they going to bring another running back up this week, a fourth running back? I have no idea. But what I can see right now is that Corey Clement is not going to play. They're not going to force him to play, or they might lessen his snaps. They might have, an, have him active. I have no idea what's going on. But what I'm looking for right now, since Corey Clement has a quad injury, don't know how bad it is, but it was the last series, the last play of the play of practice, whatever it was. I'm looking for Elijah Holyfield to come into this lineup this Sunday and show what he's got. And I think we have to do this right now. I think it's going to be one of those, we need to find out who's going to step up this year. And I know we have an undrafted running back in Michael Warren that's very shifty, good feet. Didn't have a fantastic camp, but hey, you never know what you're going to get. Some guys do good in training camp and, and don't get to play at all during the season. The hype just goes down. Some guys have, you know... Really bad training camps, and they turn out to be fantastic players. So you never know what you're going to get, but you put Michael Warren in. You put Elijah Holyfield that really hasn't got a chance in the NFL for any starting time. Well, not starting time, but on the field time because last year he didn't have he didn't hit the field once last year in the regular season. So are you looking for Elijah Holyfield to go in there? He had a really good camp. I saw a lot of video on Elijah Holyfield, a lot. His jump cut is ridiculous. For a bruiser back in his size, he can make the first guy miss. Mostly 9, nine out of 10. 9 out of 10 times, he will make the first guy miss. Okay? But when it comes to, like, this team, just put another guy in. Don't force Corey Clement to play. Do not force him to play. You put in Elijah Holyfield. You put in Michael Warren. I, I don't see them putting in one of the lighter backs like Adrian moving Adrian Killens up, or I don't see them moving any of those guys, uh, you know, up obviously because we have Boston Scott, Miles Sanders already. Okay, we need we need some we need a we need a big chunk of meat out there. Okay, we need somebody out there that's going to bruise and and just be tough. And I think Elijah Holyfield has had the stronger camp out of the bigger backs. I think he's had the strong camp. He's had consecutive good camps. I've seen Carson Wentz, Nate Suffield, Jalen Hurts throw some regular just some screen passes to him and he makes a linebacker miss i mean he has some moves he has some feet to him and he has toughness and do staley couldn't say anything more about elijah holyfield couldn't say anything more about him saying the passion that he has and he runs really angry i mean i want to see that i want to see some fresh meat here i want to see somebody get in there and do the thing do not force Corey Clement to play do not do it eagles don't do it don't do it I'm telling you right now, because this is what has happened to players. Sidney Jones the same way. He got hurt, and then he left, and he came back in the game and hurt even more. Don't be doing that. Don't put somebody back in the game, okay? Don't do that. Leave him in the game. Get Elijah Holyfield in the lineup this week. That's what I want, and I hope to God they do that. Do not force Corey Clement to play. Now, I don't know how it's a quad injury, so... Is it that bad? I have no idea, but why even risk it? You know, he's not a starting running back for us. We got Boston Scott, Miles Sanders. Throw in another guy. It's not going to hurt. At least you get some insight of what you have from the practice squad moving up to the active roster. That's what you have. So let me know what you guys think about this. I will see you guys later. Shake squad up. Fly, all fly. Peace out. Peace.